So I've just walked up with one of the units from the IKEA kitchen. Look at that rubbish. Um, it's just here. 17 kilograms. I just had to carry it about a quarter of a mile. My arm's killing me. Um, I've just got the fire stoked up just to take the chill and keep the boat warm and not damp. I'm gonna just every time I come up bring one unit at a time. Here we go. First units are made. This isn't where it's gonna go. I'll just put it in. Um, all in all. got a coffee from his favourite coffee place, Camden Coffee. I'm going to go up, check the boat and measure up for some tiles. Yeah, I hope they're still there. <laughs> Fingers crossed. The pleasure of being parked in Westbourne Park means we get to walk through our, one of our favourite areas of London, which is Portobello Road. Um, we head up there. As we headed up, we were discussing what sort of tiles we wanted. Um, we both decided we were looking for maybe a copper sort of splash pit on the cooker, and maybe some white or cream subway style tiles um, we found a local tile shop near our house which we uh, ventured up there to go check out This is what we're going for. Did you take a picture? Yeah, yeah we're going to have them like that, aren't we? Yeah. Can't really tell how gorgeous they are. Yeah, you get reflection. The man, the myth, the legend, my father, Bobby Peel, came down from Yorkshire to give us a hand. He brought all his tools down and he spent seven solid days on board. We were a bit wary of him staying on board, but his idea was that he's going to get up early, finish late, and he's here to work. We were astonished by the work he'd done. He helped us fit the kitchen, redo the electricity, fit CCTV, and helped us source cheaper materials up north. We're both very grateful for him coming down. Absolute legend, and we couldn't have done this project without him. One of the jobs uh, my father was going to undertake whilst on board was to fit our new LPG gas oven. But what a nightmare. It didn't arrive because it got broke in transit, so they had to send it back and we had to wait four weeks for a new one to come, which in that time my father wasn't here anymore. During my arguments on the phone with the gas cooker company, my argument was, do you know how much a marine carpenter costs? I've got one on site going to waste right now. Once I told my father this, it became a running joke on every task that he finished, he'd always quote, Do you know how much a marine carpenter costs? Shit, shock, horror. Next problem was, we ran out of water. With my dad living on board full time, he needed the toilet, he needed to shower, and of course he has to brush his teeth. So we need to find this man some water and we need to find it fast. Which wasn't all bad, because I got to spend a day cruising the canal with my dad. We're just stopping up for his first water top up. This place is still a bit of a building site. Look at the rubbish. Don't look good. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Do you know how much a marine carpenter costs? What are you doing? I am just taping up to do some masticking around the ceiling around the worktop. I've just done the sink if you want to mm -hmm. admire that with your own peepers. Well, look at that. All about the and we've done <clears throat> the tiles today. 
Yeah, tiles were. And if you look really close, there. it's like it, the veins came out of too. Can't really so zoom it, but it looks amazing. Oh come on, there we go. Yeah. Still on the whole tiles there. Yeah, we have still a lot of things to do here though. One job at a time. Slow and steady wins the race. Unless it's a hundred meter sprint. Funny. <laughs> Funny. So we are done with the silicon, which looks really nice. There's going to be a blind box here, so that's not need to worry about. And what are you doing right now? I'm putting up the beading because we're going to have like a diffused light, so it's going to go like that. Yeah. And put some lights behind it, it shines that way and shines that way. So when we don't want to have this bright light, which is amazing. Yeah, we can put some new light. Yeah. It's a mess. We're waiting for new cushions here. They're going to be like cream beige. I would say and then we're gonna put new shelves in here they were already shelves as you can see but they were a bit not as neat as we would like to have them and the TV I just love how it looks when we are in Paddington it's like being in the big city but all the tiling is done the kitchen is almost done IKEA unfortunately sent out the wrong wrong door to us so we're waiting for that one to come and then after that we can take away this disgusting baby blue covers and get because that's high gloss white it's gonna be but let's keep on going for the lights yeah yeah Emily what are you doing? I'm doing curtains talk us through it so I need to cut it so it's thick enough to be able to fold three times we don't want anyone to look at it just so we know how it will look and also get everything to place it so we can actually move in then we can tweak it when we are living here so that is what I'm doing and I've been do you say polishing up them Yep, polishing up all the brass fittings and uh, I've been polishing the portals today. I don't know if you can see down there, it zooms really slow. I'm just going to take you down them little portals, I've been polishing them, put the engine room door back on. The place is still a bit of a building site, as in a, a mess. All the kitchen unit doors are on, they just need uncovering, fridges in, new shelves are in, wine racks in. Oh look, and here's a mattress. Don't belong here. So the next step is to do the wardrobe, so that's why the mattress is there. Lights are in, it's a little soft light, white light, soft light, white light. So the curtain's going to be like these curtains, but we're going to have blind box on this one so no one can see in. Yeah, just to clarify, we've safety pinned them and not sawn them yet, and then we're going to do a box around them, but then just to tidy them up. But in the bedroom, it's a tiny window, so we're not going to have any uh, blind boxes. But we're going to have the same kind of fabric, but like really close in, so no I can. And where did we get this fabric from? Uh, I stole it from where we used to live, or where we're still living, but we'll obviously move out and move in here. Emily has also become a ninja of central heating. She yeah. knows how to work this stove like a cave woman. Let's do